Did you realize that before you wait in an emergency room for hours and hours and end up with a potentially huge, sizable bill, there may be another option for you if you find yourself in a situation where you need some emergency care? Well, there are options, and one we're going to talk with our guest about today is called Physicians Urgent Care, mm -hmm. and Dr. Ty Babcock is one of the seven physicians that started right. this. That's right. Nice to have you here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I appreciate it. Always enjoy the opportunity to come on and talk about physicians' urgent care. Okay. This is something that came about. You saw that there was a need for this, mm -hmm. obviously. I know from doing stories for many years mm -hmm. about people that really use the ER mm -hmm. as their primary source of care oftentimes sure. if they don't have a regular doctor. Mm -hmm. and. So you get that backup, people waiting and waiting. So you're filling a niche here, aren't you, mm -hmm. for people where it's not, not life-threatening, but right. it is an emergency for them. So tell us sure. what kind of injuries are you treating? Sure, absolutely. And so what we found is that oftentimes a lot of people maybe even have primary care doctors and their primary care doctor is so full they can't get an appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they were in a minor car accident, they fell, they sprained their ankle, maybe even broke it, uh, maybe they're... Um, sick and they're vomiting or, or things that, that may be outside the scope of what they would typically see their primary care doctor for that aren't immediately life-threatening and can be taken care of in a faster, cheaper setting. And so that's kind of what we saw and that's what we wanted to bring to the community. All right. And how many locations are you in right now? So we're in four locations in Middle Tennessee. Uh, our first location was in Franklin, then we opened one in Brentwood, and then this year we've opened up Berry Farms, and then even three weeks ago we opened up one in West Nashville at Nashville West Shopping Center. So what really makes this different? We know there are lots of mm -hmm. urgent care sure. clinics um, around mm -hmm. our area everywhere. Right. So how is this different? Well, we're locally owned. We're all physician owned, so there's seven of us that, that own it. Um, we're not affiliated with any hospital system or any mm -hmm. large corporation and so we really opened it to try to give the best patient experience that we possibly could and that was the end goal that was in mind because we're taking care of our friends and our neighbors and uh, we wanted to provide the experience that we would want ourselves or that our family to have and about 95 percent of our patients actually would highly recommend us to their friends and neighbors which is really the the best compliment that we could get. So you're getting good feedback, obviously, to we share are. that with us. Sure. Do you still see people overutilizing the big emergency rooms? They are, aren't they? They do. You know, I think people, they make the best decisions they have with the At information the that they have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people still don't know that there, there are other options out there. Maybe they called their primary care doctor and either they were not able to be seen uh, that day or the next day, or, or maybe they were told to go to the, to the emergency room because it was outside of the scope of, of, of what they were able to do. Um, and, and so the, the patients are just doing what they think is best. Um, and so we're really trying to get the word out there that there, there are other options out there. So help educate us, help us to understand how to get the right care mm -hmm. at, the, at the right place. Okay, all right. So it really is, there really is a spectrum there of, of different clinics. And so I think the, on the sort of this end of the spectrum, you have a, a retail clinic or maybe a walk-in clinic that you would find maybe at, at your pharmacist or, or in, in, a, in a busy retail area that are a little li limited in the scope of what they can do. They have a very tight set of protocols that are usually staffed by either a nurse practitioner or a PA and they, they're able to take care of maybe a sore throat, a cough, low-grade fever. Um, some of them are able to do urinary tract infections and those mm -hmm. sorts of things, but they don't have x-ray available. They don't really do a lot of suturing, that sort of thing. They're usually your cheapest option. They're usually pretty fast, and they're, they're available. They're everywhere. Uh, in the middle is, is more of an urgent care type setting, which is what we do. Um, that they're a little more broad in a scope, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're even then there's, there's not some standard that an urgent care can do X, Y, and Z. There are some that can do more, some that can do less. So it's always important to sort of call before you go to an urgent care center to make sure that they're able to handle whatever it is that you're coming in with. But there, usually there's an X-ray available. They do uh, uh, laceration repair. They can do abscess repair, maybe minor orthopedic things. Um, and then they, they may have medicines that they can they can give their own side as well okay so uh, this is something I find really interesting they mm -hmm. they call you the medical myth buster <laughs> yeah, whoever that, they is is, whoever they, yeah, yeah. is that the case and, and uh, why why is that sure you know I think I've just you, you see a lot of the things that, that sort of get that perpetuated in popular culture that just sort of make you scratch your head sometimes. <laughs> and some, some are a little more obvious and some are not. And so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just fun sometimes to like sort of uh, poke holes in things, I guess. What are some of the, what are some of the most uh, 
common ones, mm -hmm. the, the medical myths that you hear. Sure. I think we've got a list, like one was on the flu shot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an important one because I think that potentially opens people up to harm. I think flu shot is one of the most important things that you can do every year for your health. A lot of people don't realize that flu actually kills people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people die from the flu. Um, and, and, you know, we, we always talk about, oh, I've got a bad cold, well, I must have the flu. Well, no, the bad cold and, and flu are two very different things. And so getting a flu shot every year can actually protect you, even on a, a year like this year where maybe it doesn't match up very well with the flu, it still can make the, the disease a lot less severe. And so um, it is true that you can sort of feel bad after getting a flu shot. You may have a, a, a low-grade fever and a little body aches and that sort of thing. But because the, the shot is made with either a dead virus or an inactivated mm -hmm. virus, there's there's no way you can actually get the flu disease from it. Okay, there's another myth that you should drink eight glasses of water a day. That's a mm -hmm. myth? Well, it, it's more just an overgeneralization, I think. Certainly, you don't want to be dehydrated, but uh, you and I are two very different sized people, and so the amount of water that it's going to require for me versus the amount of water you would require is two completely different amounts of water, um, and, and then your activity level also plays into that. And so, so it, it is important to drink plenty of water, but again, the eight, eight ounces, I wouldn't beat yourself up about. Okay, all yeah, right. <laughs> One more quick uh, myth. Cold weather makes you sick, and we are in the midst of cold weather now. I hope my mom is not watching right now, I'll be honest with you, um, uh, because that was the one that she always told me. Uh, that There is no evidence that, that the temperature makes you more likely to get sick or not sick. Some some people will cough more after being out in the cold, but that's more from reactive airway, almost more like an asthma type effect than any illness. All right, thank you for clearing some of those myths sure. up, the myth buster. Uh, Dr. Ty Babcock with Physicians Urgent Care, thanks so much for taking the time to thank come you. in. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, take care, and we'll be right back in a moment. Thank you.